Well, only on Fox, a 43-year-old man convicted 10 times of exposing himself at the same intersection is behind bars again tonight, and this time he's facing felony charges of indecent exposure. Fox 26's Randy Wallace joining us live from the courthouse with this exclusive story. Randy. Yeah, Rashi. Now, prosecutors say Brooks is doing more than exposing himself. Since sometimes children are involved, he's also convicted of indecency with a child. Gregory Brooks, will you please stand up? From 2017 to 2022, 43-year-old Gregory Brooks has been convicted of the same crime at the same location. The crime is indecent exposure. The location is the intersection of Benz and 288. This defendant... Uh if I counted correctly, has over uh, 20 arrests and or convictions for indecent exposure. And two times for failure to register as a sex offender for one of those convictions for indecent exposure. He's also been to prison once. In fact, his most recent arrest was March 5th, just three days after being paroled from prison. He's been exposing himself and gratifying himself for his own personal gratification in front of anybody he can, anybody that drives by, bystanders, people that are working in the area. That includes women, children, men, everybody that he can. In the past, Brooks has been charged with indecency with a child for fondling himself in front of children. Before, you could gratify yourself in public as many times as you wanted, and we could only charge you with a Class A misdemeanor, meaning you'd only be able to be put in jail for a year tops. Thanks to a relatively new change in the law, prosecutors have charged Brooks with felony and decent exposure with two prior convictions. I know for a fact that Mr. Brooks knows exactly what is happening and he knows what he's doing to the public is wrong. Assistant DA Michael Haddad bases that on a video he will use during Brooks's felony trial. What you can see in that video is the victim putting up the phone to show the defendant, Mr. Brooks, that she's recording his behavior. And the second he sees that there's somebody recording him, he puts it away and he stops his actions. Brooks's bond is currently set at $10,000. Prosecutors want the judge to raise that, citing Brooks as a continuing threat to the public. Reporting live from downtown, Randy Wallace, Fox 26 News.